In this chapter, you are going to learn how to design a one-way reinforced concrete slab with wrapped software. First of all, it's good to understand when do we use one-way slab. We use one-way slab when we have um, beams only in one direction. As you can see here, the beams are only in long direction. Or the ratio of long span to the short span, which is B over A, is more than 2. This number of two can be a little different in different codes. And as you can see, the direction of reinforcement, they are spanning between these two beams. So the slab we are going to design has two spans, as you can see here. The, the first span has um, six meter length and the second one has seven meter length. Both slab has 250 thickness. And as you can see, the slab is running between um, the beams, and beams are shown with dashed lines. Um, and so the load goes from this slab to the beams, and from the beams, they will go to the columns. So now let's make a new wrap uh, model from scratch and go through the steps together. So the first step here is to go to File, New, and Frame. Here you can define number of spans. I'm not going to change the rest of this parameter here. We will change this together inside the model. It's more visual and easier to understand. So we are in general sheet. This is the first page of uh, wrapped. So here we have to uh, design, we have to define very general items. Uh, here, for example, design code, you can choose your design code. Uh, as you can see, there are many different codes in here which you can choose from. I'm choosing Australia. And then um, consistent material with your code. Um, you can choose different values again. So I'm choosing again Australia. For the reinforcement type, um, you can choose reinforced um, or post tension concrete. Um, in our case, we have reinforced, so I'm going to choose reinforced. And for member type, we might have a slab or beam. In our case, we are designing a slab, so I'm, I'm going to choose a slab. For panel type, we have internal or external. Um, it's clear from its name, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to choose internal. And uh, for a strip type, we usually have one-way slab or two-way slab. Um, so for one-way slab, we have two options. Um, the first one is nominal width, and the second one is full width. Uh, so when we are uh, usually, uh, we choose a one meter uh, slab width, and we design the whole slab for that. And uh, for this reason, I'm going to choose nominal width. It's more popular option as well. Then the other important parameter to change is um, uh, concrete strength for the slab. So I'm going to choose 40 MPa. It can be changed for as per your project requirement. And then the concrete um, strength for the column, the same thing. I'm going to leave it as 40 MPa. Uh, so these numbers are cover for top and bottom. Um, you can change it as per your project requirement. And um, the other important parameter would be earthquake design. You can choose different um, um, uh, options, moderate or high risk or none. Because I'm um, working for Australia, so I'm going to choose nine, none. Um, so the next step is to go to the frame part. So the first item is a span. Here we will define our um, span length. The first one was six meter. And the slab thickness was 250. Um, the design width, so if you don't understand what is it, you just hover over every item, you can see the description. So here you can see a slab design width. Uh, so we are designing one meter a slab. And the second one is panel width left and the other one panel width right. So it, this is basically a trip width for that slab. I'm putting one meter because we are designing one way as um, one uh, nominal um, a slab one meter a slab um, so we have the same situation for the second one with the difference of um, span length which is six me seven meter the rest of these items are the same so i'm going to copy this value 
and then the same thing here so if I there's a trick here if you, if you choose all of this value and um, choose control D it's gonna uh, copy the same number for all of them so now in the column section um, I'm going to define the uh, support condition um, so support condition can be um, knife edge fix or column knife edge is usually for the walls um, fix is when it, it is fixed connection and column when you, when you have column which is our case so I'm going to choose column um, then um, it asks for the column height above which I'm going to put 3000 millimeter and then it asks for the dimension of that column so I put 500 um, diameter um, the same thing height above that slab and the diameter of uh, 500 um, for that column and then the other important parameter here is the stiffness of the column percentage column stiffness um, so this can be you can change this as per your project requirement we usually put tw uh, 20 to 25 percent um, this is the um, um, stiffness of the column in um, um, load distribution between the slab and column so the same thing for two other support I'm going to copy um, so I have to choose column not fix uh, so I'm going to copy this value and the same value here the same value here and here and the column stiffness percentage as well so okay that's done now if you can see here there is a uh, elevation view um, so you can see the column here the second column and the third column there is a plan view as well which is looking from top so you can see the column here column here and column here so the other option is drop panel um, if you have drop panel you can define it here um, I assume we have drop panel for the middle one uh, just to teach you how to define it um, so the first thing is thickness of the drop panel I put 400 millimeter and then uh, width of the drop panel I put 1000 usually it has to be minimum of L over 6 um, so when I chose 500 for that uh, 1000 for that and uh, so these are parameters in the other direction but half of that as you can see in, in this icon here as well so the next item is transverse beam so we had beams in the other direction perpendicular to this slab so we have to choose beam for all of them and then we have to give the thickness of the beam for these three beams and the width of the beam so the thickness I'm going to put 500 the same uh, for the width and I'm going to copy the whole thing so we have 500 by 500 beams um, perpendicular to our slab so I'm not going to go to the layer element and steps these are uh, for more complicated slabs where we have uh, steps or we have opening uh, or change of thickness or three bits um, we can go through this so it's going to be more complicated 